Hello, and welcome to another edition of Points of Interest, Winnemucca, Nevada. Winnemucca is in the heart of cowboy country on Interstate 80 and is known as the crossroads of the West, just 167 miles east of Reno and 367 miles west of Salt Lake City, both on Interstate 80. Due north, Boise, Idaho at 267 miles. Whether you're traveling eastbound or westbound on Interstate 80, this video will highlight the points of interest between Lovelock and Winnemucca, Nevada. Just 94 miles east of Reno, we'll take an eastbound approach with our first stop in Lovelock. One of the major draws here in Lovelock is the Lover's Lock Plaza. It's located behind the courthouse just off the freeway about three blocks on Main Street. This is where couples come to symbolize their love by attaching a padlock to an endless chain, a practice that began on Valentine's Day in the year 2005. There's plenty to see and do right here in Lovelock, and make sure and make the Lovelock Depot Visitor Center your first stop, located on Main Street at the freeway. Now, if you like camping, fishing, hiking, or just a nice place to picnic, you're going to love our next point of interest. It's Rye Patch Dam and Recreational Area, located just 24 miles northeast of Lovelock off of Highway 80. Rye Patch is open year-round and has 72 miles of shoreline. Rye Patch is a user fee area, and this booth will be the first thing you see when you get here. For rules, regulations, and fees, go to parks.nv.gov slash parks.com. On your right hand side just past the fee booth area is an overlook of both the dam and the reservoir. Just past the overlook on the left hand side is the picnic and tent camping area. The tent camping area is by reservation only. They also have a horseshoe pit and a volleyball court. Across from the campsites, the river picnic area. They have tables, grills, and restrooms. Back up to the main road, we're going across the dam. And down on your left-hand side will be the RV dump and also an RV campground. On your right-hand side is Ramada. It's the group camping area and also a picnic area. They have space for groups up to 100 people with tables, grills, water, even restrooms. Now, let's continue along this paved road to the west side campground. They have 25 units here, restrooms with flush toilets, hot showers, which is absolutely wonderful. And there's also undeveloped campsites along the river that can be accessed either by dirt road or by boat. And there is a double lane boat ramp and a dock. It's time to head to our next point of interest. Head back to Highway 80. You're going to be going eastbound towards Winnemucca, 17 miles to the town of Imlay. It's exit number 145. You'll be making a right turn, then a quick left turn. You're on frontage road and you'll enter the Thunder Mountain Indian Monument. This is a five acre park with various art sculptures, over 200, along with very Various buildings built out of cement, stone, bottles, car parts, typewriters, bicycles, anything he could get his hands on he would put in the walls. Frank Van Sant started constructing these various art forms in 1969. They depicted various purported injustices done to the Native American Indian. And Van Sant was a Creek Indian and was known by his Native American name as Rolling Mountain Thunder. The monument was declared a Nevada State Historic Site in the 1990s and is under the care of the children of Frank Van Sant. All donations greatly appreciated. You'll see a donation box as you enter the monument. Plan on spending at least an hour to hour and a half here. Okay, let's head back to Interstate 80. We're going to be heading eastbound towards Winnemucca. We're going to go four miles to the Mill City Unionville off-ramp. It's exit 149. This is State Route 400 and we're making a right turn. And heading nine miles to a dirt road, we're heading to a zoo, Safe Haven Rescue Zoo. Now this place is in the middle of nowhere, but when you get to the sign Star City, make a right turn, follow that blue line right there, it's seven tenths of a mile. And this is a good dirt road. Now the Safe Haven Animal Rescue Zoo is by appointment only. And is it worth coming out here? You bet. Safe Haven Rescue Zoo is a premier wildlife rescue and rehabilitation facility. They not only rehabilitate, but they release local orphan and injured wildlife. They also have exotic animals here like tigers, a red orphan fox, a Canadian lynx, and many mountain lions, coyotes, and the list goes on. Don't forget, call first to make an appointment, 775-538-7093. 
plan out a good hour to hour and a half to explore Safe Haven. It's time to get to our next and last point of interest before we head into Winnemucca, Nevada. Continue on State Route 400 for seven miles and on your right-hand side, you will see an historical marker and a bunch of mailboxes. This will be Unionville Road. Make a right, go up about a mile and a half and you will be in the town of Unionville. Unionville is often called a ghost town, but it's more like a hamlet. You see, they have a place up here called the Pioneer Gardens. It's a bed and breakfast, and they really draw the Hollywood crowd up here. It's out in the middle of nowhere, and they just love it. What I think you're going to be surprised about is Unionville looks like an oasis of fall colors and green pastures. It really is just a great place just to kick back and relax. Mark Twain actually had a little gold fever. He tried to get a mine here to do a little mining. Nobody would sell him anything. So he wrote the book, Roughing It, right here in Unionville. Plan on spending at least an hour, two hour and a half just walking around town. It's really interesting. A lot of historic buildings. Let's take State Route 400 back to Interstate 80. We're going right 27 miles into Winnemucca, Nevada. When you get into Winnemucca, your very first stop will be the Winnemucca Convention and Visitors Authority. This is home to the Winnemucca Chamber of Commerce, also their visitor center. They also have the Buckaroo Hall of Fame inside and also a mineral display and a wildlife display. Plus, you can pick up all the information you'll need on what there is to see and what there is to do around Winnemucca. In the areas surrounding Winnemucca, there are endless hours of outdoor activities like hiking, mountain bike riding, and there's hundreds of miles of motorcycle and ATV trails. You might plan your next trip around one of their events. They have the rodeo, their Winnemucca Motorcycle Rally, and Basque Festival. There are over a thousand hotel rooms, several diverse restaurants, and there's plenty of casino gaming. And there's plenty of other opportunities for a lot of fun right here in Winnemucca. We invite you to go to Winnemucca.com and explore the many exciting adventures they have to offer. There's plenty of videos along with listings of all the hotels, events, and restaurants. Thanks for joining us on the points of interest between Lovelock, Nevada, and Winnemucca, Nevada, the crossroads of the West.